hi how are you doing welcome to this video and this channel and in this video we'll be discussing a class certificate course in information technology and just as we usually do it we'll go through the syllabus and highlight some of the key areas that you encounter when you are passing the club certificate course in information technology I've already done a video for Diploma in Information Communication Technology. If you have not watched the video, you can watch it in the link shown here or in my video description here. Uh, in that video, I compared Diploma in Information Communication Technology and uh, Diploma in Information Science as they are offered in various TVET institutes through the examination body, which is Kenya National Examination Council. I'll also make a few corrections about the video uh, because as I ran later, some of the units they are not in the particular year that i mentioned they are in but there is nothing more about the corrections all the units are the same so it's just a minor correction and i also created quite a number of videos that is in in various fields in uh, engineering mechanical engineering electrical engineering civil engineering building all those videos you can check them in my video description so that you can select a course of your choice remember the whole idea about this channel is to give you enough information about uh, particular courses so that you can be able to select a course of your choice based on factual information and now let us go to the task ahead and explore the syllabus for a craft certificate course in information technology the first year of study that is module one uh, you cover quite a number of units the first one is communication skills there's entrepreneurship and business plan uh, you also do introduction to ICT and ethics notice the amount of time allocated for example you can see introduction to ICT and ethics is allocated a total of 163 hours which means it's a core unit in this particular area then you have a computer applications one under computer applications you cover various computer applications packages that is a uh, MS Word MS Excel uh, presentation packages that is a uh, PowerPoint and so on you also do computational math mathematics. I'll show you the topic that you'll be covering so that you can be prepared. Uh, most of the time people think that IT will not be doing mathematics at all. You also do a unit in operating system and this unit in operating system is supposed to equip you with knowledge, skills, uh, attitude and understanding of the uh, a computer operating system, how to install a computer operating system, how to select computer operating system and how also to troubleshoot computer operating systems. Then you do a unit on basic electronics. Uh, this unit is supposed to equip you uh, with knowledge and skills, and also the attitude to help you understand the concepts of uh, various digital systems. Then after the first year of study, you proceed for your first industrial attachment. So the first year of study, is supposed to equip you with knowledge on how to do basic computer operations or the unit that you cover in the first year of study. In the second year of study, this one will now equip you with knowledge on how you can become an ICT assistant. And in this year of study, you do structured programming. At the structured programming, you gain the various skills and knowledge that will help you to be able to light structured programs this is supposed to take a total of 108 hours then another unit in the second year of study is computer maintenance and support that will equip you the, the knowledge on how to handle uh, various computer hardware how to assemble a computer how to disassemble a computer how to troubleshoot problem involving operating systems and applications computer applications too and uh, in this unit you are supposed to gain knowledge and skills in uh, various computer packages, especially that involve um, uh, desktop publishing. And then the, uh, this is the final year, research project. So this course is supposed to take two years, and the first year of study you have said is called module one. The various units that you have seen in the first year of study will be grouped into a number of exams, and you must pass either one of them or fail at most two. If you fail one or two, papers that's called a refer and this refer you must receipt it before you can get your final certificate in class certificate in information technology uh, if you fill a unit or if you fill a paper 
you are allowed to receive it for a total of three times within a period of five years. So if you get one or two defers, you can proceed to the next year of study, but you should at some point do the papers you got referred. But if you fill more than two papers, that is say you fill three papers, then you have to repeat the entire year or you change your course to a later course if uh, this is proving to be a challenge. But I don't think this one, that one will happen because uh, we have seen this is a very interesting course. And that's why I give you this information so that pursue a course based on interest. If you, have, if, you, if, you have, if you pursue a course based on interest on that particular course, it will be very simple for you. It will be quite easy for you to pass. These are the units for the diploma level. If you watch the previous video, this will be the units for the diploma level. I mentioned the same unit, but were not organized in the correct way. I checked the syllabus, but I didn't realize the syllabus had some changes. Uh, the units for the second year of study, if you check the video. If you don't check the video, check the video for Diploma in Information Communication Technology, or DIS, the difference between those two. Diploma in Information Communication Technology and Diploma in Information Science. The third year of study, module 3. Now what I want us to do, I want us to check the syllabus for the certificate course. And our computer application, let's see what you are supposed to cover. This is where you do introduction to computer application. Uh, you do introduction to operating system. You do computer pack, uh, packages such as word processing, spreadsheet. Notice also time is allocated for both theory and practical work. Another area that I like mentioning, especially because people have wrong perceptions. For example, most of the students when they are applying for courses in ICT, they usually think they will not encounter mathematics anywhere. Only to be surprised uh, when they join the courses, there is considerable amount of uh, there is uh, some amount of mathematics, not but not much, just uh, something substantial. So the unit is called computational mathematics or simply mathematics. Is a number system coding and uh, computational mathematics, algebra, binomial expansion, set theory, matrices, uh, statistics, elements of probability, imagine threads, and so. On. At the basic electronics, we do introduction to electrical circuits. Simple is C circuit, DC circuit, electronic components, semiconductor theory, uh, memories, number systems, binary codes, logic gate, and Boolean algebra. And we are say the main aim of this uh, unit on electronic is to be able to it, is to help you appreciate uh, the various concepts under digital systems. But the knowledge of electronics when combined with knowledge of programming it becomes quite powerful. If you have watched the videos that I make on uh, TVET fairs, uh, those are, these are various competitions that take place in TVET institutions. The students who participate in these competitions, mostly they are students who are good in electronics and they are also good in programming. And the structured programming, you have a programming concept, programming approaches, Program development, program design, introduction to structured programming using C language. And notice we have time allocated for the theory and time allocated for the practical. Next we do it is computer maintenance and support. I do, do introduction to computer maintenance, input and output devices, motherboard and buses, processors, memories, storage, power supply. Uh, you do practical work and theory work on all these areas. At a computer application too, you do desktop publishing. You do accounting packages, you do computer aided design. Now those are some of the key areas that I wanted us to mention. And remember as usual, share the video to a student who you know in high school or a parent or a guardian who has a child in high school. If you have any question or comment, leave it in my YouTube channel comments. And remember to research on three to four courses and settle on the best course depending on your interests, talents, uh, if you have done some work out there depending on your skills and also depending on your grade in KCSC. I believe I have not wasted your time in this video and certainly not in the next video.